am Dr. Romano, professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgo Man products in the Death Destroyer book. I'm here with my professor from college, Professor Lewis Blois, and he's going to do some questions for us, word problems that I think you'll find very interesting for the exam. Okay, thanks very much. Today we're going to do a couple of rate of consumption problems. Let's take a look at the problem and read it together. Jack ordered firewood to last 30 weeks. However, due to a very cold season, the supply of firewood was exhausted in only 25 weeks. What is the average daily or weekly, what is the average percentage increase in Jack's use of firewood? Well, in order to organize this problem, let's assign a couple of variables. We'll say small case R will assign to the normal rate of firewood consumption and capital R for that faster rate. Now, the total amount of firewood is going to be represented by, well, if we take the normal rate and that lasts 30 weeks, it's 30 times R. That's how much uh, firewood we have, uh, 30 weeks and R uh, consumption per week. That's going to be set equal to 25 times capital R because R is the faster rate of consumption that's used up in 25 weeks. So what we're looking for is the percent increase in firewood. So what we're looking for is the expression R over R. We want to evaluate that first and from that determine how much of a percent increase it represents. So how do we do this? Let's uh, divide both sides by 25. We'll get 30 divided by 25. Okay, let's reduce this. Five goes into 36 times. Five goes into 25, five times. This turns out to be 1.2. So what does that tell us? This tells us that 1.2 means there's a 20% increase in the use of firewood. So the answer is what? Choice D, a 20% increase as inferred from this fraction of 1.2. Okay, now let's look at the second rate of consumption problem. A full tank normally holds enough propane to last a family through the winter. Due to a particularly harsh winter, propane use increased by 20%, and as a result, a full tank only lasted 120 days. How many days does the full tank of propane normally last? Okay, so in order to organize this problem, we're gonna assign two variables. Capital F, let's assign to the total amount of propane that we have, and R, the normal rate of propane use. So F over R is going to be the normal life of the propane. We don't know that, right? We only know how long the propane is going to last during this very harsh winter in which the usage is 20% higher than normal. So what we're gonna do is form this equation. We have the total amount of propane, but the rate is gonna be 20% higher. That's gonna be represented by 1.2 times R, 20% higher than the normal rate. And the number of days that's going to last is 120 days, all right? The quantity that's being asked for is the normal life, the normal length of the usage of propane. In other words, F over R. Well, look at this equation. How do I solve for F over R? We multiply both sides of the equation by 1.2. So we get the value F over R equals 120 days times 1.2. Well, I know that 12 times 12 is 144. This is going to be 144 days. So therefore, I look at my choice of answers. The answer is D, 144 days. And here's my rate of consumption problems. I hope you enjoyed that video, but the minute I saw propane, I, I couldn't help myself. That I look at propane and I want to brominate it. So if you took propane and you add bromine and light, what do you get? Uh, alcohol? No, no. You brominated, you brominated at the secondary position. I know you like percents, I'll give you percent. You get this in 97% yield because it's a secondary free radical. How does that sound? Next time I go camping, I'm taking you with me. All right. Um, hopefully, you all understood what I just did. You brominate an alkane, you're going to go for the more substituted position. But this is a math video, so I don't want to rain on Professor Blois's parade. All right, guys, I'll see you again in study group. Good day to you. Bye-bye.